happy Thursday, everyone. I just wanted to come on here and show you all a wonderful new feature that Canva has. So Canva has a way to capture your crowd. I might be citing it wrong, but I'll be able to show you exactly what it says word for word, but your crowd crowdsourcing um, chat. So as you're presenting, you'll be able to see everyone's chat their questions or comments as you're presenting. And I think it's so convenient, especially um, when you're using Zoom, you have to move your mouse around so that you can click on a chat feature. But as you're presenting, the questions and comments are right there on the screen. And so people who know me know that I love Canva. And so I'm always trying to figure out different things I can do in Canva. And I even email Canva um, my suggestions and they actually log them and give me feedback and let me know that this is something that they're interested in doing and they are going to be working on it. So for example, the um, device mockups, I was telling them that sometimes I'm unable to make the image smaller, you know, resize it. And they were saying that's not a feature that um, they really have in place, but they're working on it that they'll log that and I've been getting feedback ever since. Okay, so here, so when you click on canva.com, this is the landing page. So this is exactly what you see as you um, log in and type in canva.com. So here in the search box, you're just gonna type in presentation. I already typed it in as you can see, so I'm just gonna click presentation and I'm just gonna click, it doesn't matter which one. And when you click presentation, they give you several um, different templates that you can use. As you can see, um, I've been in um, this, looking at the templates all week long. So here's one, new hire resources. So here is the fun part. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, so in order to use Canva presentation live, you must use a presentation, which we just did, and I chose a new higher resources. Ooh, let's fix that. Okay, there we go. That S was by itself. Okay, and so now we're going to click on present. And I'm taking a few minutes out my day to show you guys. I like to play around. So click on present. And once you click on present, you're gonna click on present again. And it should show up full size, there we go. Okay, so follow my little blue dot here. You see this icon right here? It looks like a internet signal kind of. Well, if you click, if you hover over it, it says crowd, crowdsource questions from your audience with Canva Live. Let me click back on there again. Yep, with Canva Live. So I'm going to click on there. And so when I click there, I am going to start new session. When I start a new session, it's going to prompt me to enter, to tell my participants to enter in a new code. So I already have Canva.live on my phone. And so I'm going to click on it. And so you're going to tell your participants, hey, this is already being recorded in Zoom. Go ahead and type in canva.live. You don't need canva.live.com, just canva.live and type in those six digits. So here I have 288-564-564. And and so when they type in that on their other computer, you know, laptop, iPad, um, tablet, or phone, this is what will show up. Let's see if you can see that. And they'll have a little chat box where you, they can type in their questions or comments. And I'll just type in, thank you for this presentation. And then I'm gonna hit the blue arrow and woohoo, look at this. This is such an awesome feature. And if you want it to highlight a question, you just click on it. And if you want to take it off your screen, you just take it back off your screen. Okay. 
And so while you're presenting, those comments can stay right there. So welcome to the company. Okay, this is the template I use. I would never leave um, the words like that. You know, have that widow there. But as you're presenting, bam. And so someone might say, can you go back to the previous slide? I can't type today, guys, sorry. Uh-oh, not a period, but a question mark. Did it show up? Yeah, and it showed up. So instead of you stopping, oh, let me look at the chat box, everything is right there for you. Now, as I was playing around with this feature, I've realized that Canva doesn't have it and I might be wrong. So if you find out that I'm wrong, please let me know. I will not be offended. But Canva has a feature, um, does not have the feature where if you end this, this will be recorded. You have to use Zoom to record this. But even if you're using Zoom and you end your Zoom session, you can't get this um, these questions back. So that's why it's important to use Zoom. So I'm hoping in the near future, they will integrate this with maybe Facebook Live, Instagram, or LinkedIn so that you'll be able to go back to the post and see all of those questions. But in the meantime, you have to use a recording tool such as Loom, Zoom. I haven't tried Microsoft Team, but I'm pretty sure it works at Microsoft Team. Um, any, any, any type of software that is allowing you to present. Um, also, the other option here is you can click hide. So I can click hide and hide my comments. But if I want to show it, I have that option. Okay, and I can also minimize my screen. Okay, so I'm going to get up out of here because my child is crying, but I just want to say thank you for seeing this new feature. It's just a wonderful tool. Bye. And if I have any more updates, I will definitely show it.